Hi all. As a customer success manager, I'm often asked uh, by customers how I would recommend to approach key naming creation from Figma in design-led localization workflow. And here the important answer is that there is no best practice, like universal practice, because there might be lots of things to consider depending on how the application is built and which framework, depending on the existing key naming patterns and other limitations that applications might have. But still, there are some you know better practices that we've seen and we've seen like be working pretty well for our customers. So in this series of videos, I'll try to explain what we have seen being like more or less successfully implemented or share some ideas where we might see also some potential for such key naming patterns to be used. And for this, let's just make a very a quick preparationary step. So we've created a project in localize. We just added one random key and you would also need to install Figma plugin, a localized plugin in Figma from the community. Like you will need to browse plugins, find localize and click install. So I will not focus too much on this part. Yeah, it's already installed for me. And once you open the plugin, you can go to settings and connect your design to the project in localize. So you'll see a similar page. Let's pretend that everything is disconnected and you'll find the project and can select where your content is already located or is to be located for this design file. In the next video, I'll show you some examples of key naming patterns on, on this page and how we can actually get started.